Good day everybody, this is Pillar from Tales Productions and welcome back to Star Trek Online. We're playing through a free-to-play account on the 23rd century Starfleet officer storyline and we've completed the Klingon War. If you saw the last episode, it was a little mini-review of the Klingon War as a general storyline, how I felt about it, and then just setting up for the next section, which is yesterday's war. And that's what we're going to be doing today. I, you might even notice, have got the new ship all set up. Um, I've gone through setting up my bars down here as well with some hotkeys all set, made sure everything's fine. I, I think I've got everything good. I think we're good. So let's go. Yesterday's war is the next thing to do. I can't even start Wasteland yet. You have to do this. Let's go. We've detected significant temporal activity in the Galorndon core system circa the 23rd century. I'm going to investigate it, and I'd like you to join me. We believe the Nakul are involved, along with a planet killer. Hmm. A doomsday machine. If so, we need to stop them at all costs. I'll provide your ship with holographic camouflage. It's best if the Romulans of that time don't see a vessel from the future. Also, I've got to go to Galondon Core, um, which I've heard of before. I can't remember where from. Something to do with the uh, ooh Mark Eight stuff. Wow, um, it must have been just in the next generation. But stay safe out there. Let's go for it. All right, can I just set off auto navigate? Head that way. How far is it? It's all the way. I will meet you there. Here we are at the Galondon Core system. Should we go into a mission any second now? There we go. The core of the matter. Oh wow, is that just straight away sent me back in time? That's cool. Uh, we're right, Captain. The holographic camouflage that Daniel's provided is online. As far as the Romulans of this time are concerned, we're in a Talas, Talis, class warbird. Excellent work, Daniels. Thank you. I've also transmitted files that will establish your cover identity as Tall Shiar security operatives. Nice. You'll need to put this data into their local network before entering the research facility, however. There's a comms satellite nearby that you can use to accomplish this. Okay, uh, where? Oh, just right ahead. There you go. Nice and easy. No anomalies. Well, that makes it all a bit simpler. There's the Doomsday device. Wow. Data transmission complete. Our Tal Shiar credentials are in their system and should with sound scrutiny. I'd expect a fair amount of fear and loathing from their staff, Captain. Unannounced visits from the Tal Shiar aren't exactly a cause for celebration. Let's hope the Tal Shiar's reputation keeps us above suspicion. But you can already see in the Doomsday device. What do I have to do? I obviously can't kill it, can I? It looks a bit smaller, though. Apparently it's got a Federation flag. Uh, reading the Doomsday Machine on sensors. It may be inactive. Recommend a closer scan. Alright. Oh, I'm scared. Is that a, a warbird? These are all ships. Okay. Weird. I can't select them. Oh, that's quite cool. Looks weird. Hmm. Alright. Okay, okay, let's get closer. Scan it. What's that? Tall Shiar vessel, cease all sensor scans of the device immediately. You do not have the proper clearance. Watch your tone, Nakul. We will respect your wishes for now. Oh, so that's a Nakul. Okay. Head to transporter range. But we're building, beaming down. Oh, I don't get it. So they've been building a doomsday device? And the Romulans are in on it? IRW Moreri, this is Galorndon Station Command. Please transmit your security credentials. Acknowledge Station Command. Transmitting now. Data received, Moreri. Welcome to Galorndon Core. Sending you transporter coordinates now. I've taken the liberty of informing Commander Chulak. I'm sure the Director will want to greet you personally. Very well, I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. Loading coordinates received. Transporters are standing by. Let's not keep them waiting. Beam us down. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, this is pretty. Seek and destroy planetary bodies, consuming what remains as fuel. And yet, there's one in orbit just 
sitting there, peaceful. It looks like reports of the Nakul gaining the ability to control the machines are accurate. We need to find out how, and fast. Your holographic disguises should conceal you while you search the facility. Good hunting. Thanks, we'll need it. Keep me posting if anything changes, Daniel. We'll put the planet between the Hector and the Doomsday Machine just in case. Yeah, right, that sounds good. Stay on guard, let me know if that thing even twitches. Oh man, look at that. That is cool. For once, Tepen isn't disgusting me with the way she looks. That's awesome. In fact, this whole planet just looks on another level to the rest of the stuff I've been playing. This looks much better. Much, much better. Cool. I like it. Step in the right direction, Star Trek Online. Uh, ooh. So they're not cool. I guess I'm not going in there. Where am I going? Let's have a look. Oh, I am going in there. Okay. What else is around here? Chulak? Explore area. Investigate operations. This area is restricted. You need to leave. Now. Uh, oh, I'm a subcommander of the Tel Shiar. Step aside. My orders are clear, Romulan. No one is to pass this point until the meeting is concluded. No one, not even Chulak himself. I'd be sure to mention this to your superiors, guard. You wish you hadn't crossed the Tel Shiar, lackey. <laughs> That's probably actually that is probably what a Romulan would have said to be fair. Alright. So I couldn't get in there. Let's talk to this guard. Subcommander, it is my duty to inform you that this area is restricted. Sir. Better be sure it's not wise to refuse the Tashiasa. Not to me, Centurion, step aside. Yes, Subcommander. At once. Uh, forgive my rudeness. Uh, access granted. Let me get the door for you. <laughs> Thank you. Your service to the Empire has been noted, Centurion. Of course it has. I can't go through that door. <laughs> oh, right. Ooh. Log into sensor network. This is cool. Sensors indicate that an encoded signal of Nakul origin is being beamed to the Doomsday Machine. It's coming from the chamber that Nakul were guarding so intently. According to these logs, whenever the Doomsday Machine attempts to engage its primary directives, a signal pulse is beamed to its command core, and the machine stops. It appears we're one step closer to learning how they're controlling a Doomsday Machine. Log off. Okay. Is that all I can do here? Yeah. All right, let's go to Chulak's office. That's cool, though. I like that. His office is in here. It's a shame this area is not a little bit bigger, I guess, so you can't just have, like, a wander around. It'd be cool to see more of this. True, Kurt disguised himself as one of us. I read the report. <laughs> okay. Subcommander, I've been instructed to grant you access to this facility. Do you? And? Will you obey? Of course, Subcommander. My family is a friend to the Tal Shar and loyal to the Empire. Access for you and your team is granted. A dutiful service to the Empire is always rewarded. Carry on. Beautiful. Alright, where am I going? Into this office? I guess none of these doors open. It's interesting to see just normal doors, not like sliding doors. I can't go through this one either. Eh, that's a shame. Alright, read coordination reports on Chulak's office computer. Okay, please input your selection below. Oh, okay, right. This could go on for a while. I apologize. Access log CH22.04.8. The Senate has dispatched an agent from an alien race known as the Nakul. Repugnant creature. But she's of a keen mind and cunning. I can appreciate as a Romulan officer. If only her visage wasn't so hideous. She boasts she has a weapon that will turn the tide in favor of Romulus. An old song, to be sure, but she sings it sweetly. The log CH 27.13.1. Krog's mysterious backer, the so called Envoy, has made an impression in the right circles of power. We'll see if he can deliver, however. Data on his miracle weapon is due to arrive soon. Those scars, truly hideous. Krog is practically radiant in comparison. <laughs> Cares a lot how people look. CH31.00.6. My researchers have analyzed the Nakul weapon data. It matches a report we have on an incident in Federation space involving a doomsday machine. If accurate, this weapon destroyed USS Constellation and nearly rid the cosmos of USS Enterprise. It seems Enterprise's thrice damned captain exposed a vulnerability in the weapon. 
I shall have to address this with Krog upon her return. And finally, CH 33.14.2. Krog arrives tomorrow, along with her reportedly improved weapon. I believe the envoy will be making an appearance as well. It seems it's the season for guests. If my agents are to be believed, we'll be getting a visit from the Tal Shiar very soon. I'm already suffering the witless bureaucrat from the Senate. <laughs> to endure the serpents of the secret police is nearly too much to ask of a true Romulan. Okay, so I can download all those perfect to log off, okay. You guys look beautiful. What an incredible team. So now I can go to the meeting, go to conference room. Where's the conference room? Oh, back up there, okay. So I wasn't let in to meet Chulak or whatever his name is. I was just let into. Oh, is it back here? Did something open up that I can get into? Oh, this thing. Yeah, that's a door apparently. Don't mistake that for a window. Um, you are Commander Chulak with two Nakul, normal Centurion person. Ah, that's Krog. Okay. Uh, okay, so I just want to listen in. Apparently, do I speak to them? Is that how I listen Greetings, in? Greetings, Sub Commander. Nope. I knew it was only a matter of time before the fabled Tal Shiar came to call. She is ugly. The Nakul have brought a glorious weapon to your empire. You won't be disappointed. I can assure you. Um, I, shall we be aggressive towards them? I, th I think I might. I'm a Tal Shiar. That's what I do, right? I hope so, specialist, for your sake. Have a care, friend. <laughs> we don't take kindly to threats. Good. I want to start a fight. And you? Subcommander, if this doomsday weapon lives up to the Nakul woman's boasts, it will ensure the Empire's dominance over the entire quadrant. The Federation and the Klingons will have no choice but to bend the knee to Romulus or face annihilation. Okay, perhaps the Talshiar does not underestimate our enemies, especially when they are desperate. Um, and do you trust the Nakul Command? I think I want to ask about the trust. No. No. <laughs> trust is a hard-earned currency. However, I respect their weapon. Okay, so he doesn't trust them. So maybe I can, like, sow some discontent here. Take your place at the... I get a place at the table? Which one? Oh, just stood here. Apparently. Your attention, please. Let's begin, shall we? We thank Specialist Krog of Nakul for joining us. We have concerns about the dangers involved with this weapon. You have nothing to fear from the machine, my friend. Would you be so confident if you were here, Envoy? Utterly so. Ooh. Commander. Soon. The Doomsday Machine will bring our foes to their knees. Bold words, Envoy. We shall see, won't we? It would seem a demonstration is in order. See to it, Krog. As you wish. Shall we, Commander? Very well. Show me what this beast of yours can do. It will be my pleasure. Enjoy the show, interloper. Interloper. They are using holographic disguises, Ooh. guards. Deal with them. Why wouldn't you have mentioned that sooner when there's more people here to attack me? Nice little backing off movement there. I like it. I'm hoping. All oh, right, you land, do join in. That's unfortunate. Mm, these are taking a bit longer to kill. Oh, that was easy. Actually, that didn't take long at all. Okay, now what? Oh. Just <laughs> innocent bystanders getting shot at now. Okay, where do we need to go? Escape with command unit and return to operations. Oh, have I got a command unit? Did I, did I pick that up off somebody? Alright, let's get out. Return to operations.
Oh, there's a lot of people around now. Oh wow, is there actually going to have a grenade launcher land? Oh, it missed. It missed. It had like a group of five people there it could have landed in. And it missed. This is actually quite a difficult fight. Am I meant to be coming out here? I may not be supposed to be here. I haven't decided. Samet's doing a wonderful job, though. Um, right. All right, okay, so it's back out here. We'll need the command unit from that room. That makes sense. I couldn't have got there from inside, could I? Just through the building. Ooh, lieutenants. These guys might need a bit more. Let's fuse some armor. I like it. Let's pop up a cover shield while we're exposed. Yeah, this is how we do it. Get around the corner. Don't attack me. You get some of that. Oh, I'm gonna die. Literally gonna die. Didn't die. It wasn't literal. Well, okay, that was quite close though. The ground battles are getting a bit dicey. Space is still incredibly in my favour, but the ground battles aren't so easy. Uh, am I still in combat? No. Okay. Defeat alerted security. Inside or outside? Okay. Lock console processors. It was like the dream device from the Stargazer episode in The Next Generation. Come on, keep coming, come further. Wow, that was easy. Do something with the EPS power stuff. Uh, beam up control equipment. I don't know if I even need to join in. Super weak. My mines didn't do as much as I thought it would. Hello? There you go. Nice. Incredible. There's no items out here, are there? No drops. Nope. Oh. Then the cool equipment is safely on board. We're ready to beam you out of there. Do it. We're trying to get our computer to interface with that Nakul control console, but their tech is quite advanced. I need at least five minutes to integrate it. Okay, you've got two. <laughs> Classic captain response. You've got two minutes. There's an enemy fleet and a live doomsday machine out there. Your uninvited guests will make a fine target for the weapon, Chulak. We will see. Uh, let's use some abilities and see how it goes. What is that? It's a Nakul thing then, I guess. What? Wowzers. The Doomsday Machine is about to open fire! Uh, excuse me? I did just use that, I thought. Nice dodge. Whoa. Keep it up. Okay, I'm gonna let the Nakul people heal themselves. I'm gonna keep trying to head this way and stay away from the front of the Doomsday machine while trying to keep the enemy in there. Actually, that's a great thing. Oh, I need to get closer to the Doomsday machine. I think. It's targeting us again. We need to move. I'm moving as fast as I can. Need to get closer and behind it. That was close. Oh, that didn't work. Almost got this console working. Okay, can we? God, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Right, let's use this. Wowzers! This is incredible. Stop targeting the doomsday machine with stuff. It does nothing. All right, more repairs. More of this stuff as well. 
Oh. So I'm hoping now, I've sort of manoeuvred so that there's some um, Romulans in front of the Doomsday Machine. And now I'm going to put ready. shield frequency yeah, on. The Doomsday machine so we can transmit the control codes. Okay, okay. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Don't worry, I got this. I've changed the shield buff. Although I don't think it's going to do much. Activate transmitter. Do it. Does that work? Activating shutdown protocol. Now. Something is wrong. It's not working. It's firing indiscriminately. I'm kind of okay with that. Aren't I? I'm still attacking a... Is that a Klingon chip? Why is there a Klingon chip there? Alright, so should I just let them... Let them do it? I'll try and take on the Nakul. Do some big buffing there. Beamosh Destroyer. Uh, what's this? The Aston Beam, let's do that. That feels good. Ooh, he's actually out of it this time, good. Uh, so just need yes. a bit of time, then that's good. Doomsday Machine was still there. That threw me off for a second. Alright, so... Obviously something really bad has happened. <laughs> we can't leave it like that, surely. That's going to be a lot of people dead in the past. That's going to change the future, surely. No way. Why are these guys all suddenly suddenly my friends? Do you just want to kill me? I don't know who you are, and I don't care. You helped us with the traitorous Nakul, and that earned you a reprieve. For now, leave while you still can. I won't ask twice. As you wish, Commander. And so, <laughs> this story point is a bit strange. You helped us with the traitorous Nakul, but the Nakul didn't betray them. Like, I turned the weapon on them. Maybe they don't know that. Maybe they think that Nicole turned the weapon on them. Okay. As you wish, Commander. That can't be complete. No way. Daniels will like you to meet him on his ship and once we transition back to the 25th century. Let him know I'll be there shortly. Um, Just a quick scan. Yeah, no anomalies. Okay, let's go. Then our cool ship must have detonated within the Doomsday Machine. Disrupted it somehow. This must feel like a Pyrrhic victory at best. <laughs> An uh, occupational hazard, I'm afraid. I'll be fine. What matters is that Chulak and his allies would have killed billions had their plan succeeded. Instead, his life is a cautionary tale, forever disgraced by his loss here today. 
Wowzers. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. That's... Um... So the Doomsday device never should have been there. So when it crashed into the planet, um, should we just assume it hit like a, an unpopulated quarter of the planet and just destroyed that? It didn't actually hurt anybody? I assume. Otherwise it would have changed time a lot, wouldn't it? Okay. I don't know what to choose from this. We stopped them this time. At great cost. Clearly the Nakul and their leader is envoy are willing to do anything to win this war even commit genocide it's unfortunate that chulak didn't stand up to the nakul sooner it might have prevented this tragedy today i agree so neutronium lace combat armor i like and i'm thinking i might just upgrade my weapon that i've already got rather than go for a new one Though I like these stun. No. Yeah, I'll just stick with it. Let's go for the combat armor. Congratulations, Captain. Thank you very much. Ooh, new duty officers. That must be a level 31 thing. Yes. Alright, we'll get that right now. Might as well sort that out. Uh, use. Oh, yeah. Three greens. Look at that. That's much better. Medical and civilian. Good. Equip that, it's definitely better than what I've got. Um, is a six better for any of you guys? Yes. Yes. Just Cameron. Okay. I don't think there was anything else to equip. Didn't get anything else good. Um, I can give you a triple. And you a triple. There you go, sorted. Beautiful. Right, that was the end of the yesterday's war thing, which is now gone. Um, I, I like it. I like it a lot. Really cool. Looked much better. It definitely much better looking. I'm not sure if that's a, a much newer episode, maybe. Uh, it's not showing up now, so I can't really tell. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it too. I certainly did. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying. hope you will enjoy. But by far, the most important thing is to look forward to the next episode of Star Trek Online.